First thing, the National Restaurant Association has some trends for 2018. Uh, one of those is eating healthier. What we're celebrating today with our 10 days of unique recipes is ethnic food for kids. And yesterday we were doing food trucks and a lot of folks are trying to eat healthy this time of year, Samantha. Totally. And what you're gonna teach us is how to make a taco shell, but get rid of the corn and the flour. Yes, absolutely. Have you heard of jicama before? I have heard of jicama, but I have no idea what it is. You don't know what it is? So it, I've heard it described as a mix between a potato and an apple. Okay. It's very fresh, very crispy. This is what it looks like on the shelves of the grocery I'll store. Hold it up there. Yeah. Kind of a, a potato, and, and it's something kind that you Kind of like peel. a mix between those. Yeah, and it's, um, very versatile. You can cut it up and put it in salads and stir fries to give a nice crunch. You can cut it into sticks and dip it into hummus, dip it into guacamole. Oh, um, hummus. And it has health benefits. It helps with digestive system, regulating your blood sugar, and with nervous system support. Is jicama easy to find very. in your grocery stores? It is. So I got this one at Harris Teeter. You can get them at all the major grocery stores. It'll be in the produce section, generally not in the refrigeration section. Okay. Sometimes it has this kind of waxy peel, which does not look very appetizing. Okay. But luckily, you'll use a vegetable peeler to peel it off. And, and the, the peel version, which is flat because we've already put it I, on yeah. the mandala, it <laughs> actually the does look a little bit like a potato. It does. It has a couple beauty marks on it. Yeah. But and the reason you may be asking at home why I have this glove on <laughs> is because we're going to use the mandolin. We are. And it's a pretty sharp instrument, and it's easy it's if you're not careful to maybe slice your fingers, too. Yeah, unless you okay. have amazing knife skills, yeah. I would definitely recommend getting so a mandolin. Gonna, you're going to go from the top Push and hard run it through. and then slide it. Yeah, just keep going. Do a bunch of them. See how, ooh, ooh go throwing, a little slower. I'm throwing it on the floor. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. There you go. You'll want to put it on the thinnest setting or okay. maybe one less. So let's let's pull one out. And yeah. I mean, this is actually almost almost translucent, three see-through. And you'll see how easy it is. Okay. It doesn't break or bend. It's nice and thin. Okay. Can so I go ahead? And, I'm just going to go ahead and taste. Yeah, taste this. See what you think. How does that taste? Oh, like? delicious. And it kind of like a water chestnut, right? Yeah, Not a whole lot of flavor. It actually kind of has the consistency of a crisp apple too. Yes. Exactly. Okay. So we're actually starchy. we're not cooking this. We're using no, this raw, but we're making raw. a little shell. Kids love it too. Okay. So it's really easy to make. You don't need to cook it. If you want to grab one of those plates over there, we can actually okay. build a taco, and you can try it and let me know what you think. Okay. So let me get you some taco filling. Okay. There you go. All right. If you want, you can add some guacamole add, add or some salsa on top. On there. I just use this taco seasoning for a shortcut so you don't need to take out a bunch of different bottles. This just makes okay. it really quick and easy. And have you used ground beef meal. or ground turkey or? Anything you want. This is grass fed beef. Okay. Yeah. And then just roll it up. See how easy it folds mm -hmm. without a breaking. A little sauce on there. Mm -hmm. Let me know what you think. How does it compare to the traditional shell? It's awesome. Right? I haven't because gone I, back ever since I, think, I started eating I these. I think you want the crunch yeah. because that's part of the this fun part of, the taco of a fun. taco. Absolutely. And not that the jicama has a bad taste. It's right. pleasant, but mm -hmm. it gets completely masked it when does. you put the taco filling in It takes in on there. whatever flavoring mm -hmm. that you eat with it.